The five main root sources of lying are one, Satan's direct influence, two, wrong information, three, denial or situational ethics. What I mean by that, for example, is uh, an individual that says, I don't see myself as a liar. If accomplishing a greater good means I have to distort the truth, I'll do it. That's just, you, that person is in denial. You're still lying. Number four is shame. Example of that is individual who says, I have to lie because I'm afraid of what others will think of me since I'm not the person I should be at times. Number five is manipulation. Influencing or controlling someone or something to one's advantage often without the other person's knowledge. For example, someone might be manipulated or manipulating other people's feelings or public opinion. Lying has become an act so abundant in our daily interactions that it is often taken for granted, yet it is an intriguing phenomenon that begs a deeper investigation into its true impact on our mental health, our relationships, and society at large. Lying refers to the deliberate act of deviating from the truth with the intention to deceive. This human behavior varies in scale and impact from the so-called white lies told to protect someone's feelings to grand deception, which can change the course of an individual's life. According to Robert Feltman's 2002 study, up to 60% of adults cannot have a 10 minute conversation without lying at least once. This staggering statistic puts into perspective how commonplace lying is in our everyday lives. When one is at the receiving end of the lie, it can lead to psychological distress and relationship issues. Being lied to often incites feelings of betrayal and hurt. It can, be, it can be an emotionally disorienting experience that leaves the individual questioning their judgment. Once the lie is exposed, it casts a shadow of doubt on past and future interactions leading to a significant loss of trust. 